Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to Bloodborne on the PlayStation 5. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays on the new shiny, big, powerful console. Uh, we're at the home screen just so we can see how fast things load up. Again, let's crack straight in. <clears throat> Been doing a bit of Dark Souls and such like. To see how they're all running on the new consoles. Both between Series X and PlayStation 5. And they're all up on the channel. You can check those out. Hey, we'll go... I can't remember what the online... The online just sort of helps you out, doesn't it, I think. We'll go offline, I think. I just slide her until the man is visible and beast invisible. <clears throat> Probably about right, I think. Won't go any darker, it's... Okay. Next. Axe is normal. Y axe is normal. Sensitivity normal. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. First, you'll need a contract. I mean, firstly, how bloody quickly did all that load up? <laughs> it's outrageous, wasn't it? Right, I think we'll keep uh, pretty much... I always find the characters look a bit odd facially in these... <laughs> In from software games in general, but uh, I think age is young anyway. Appearance, uh, face details, pupils, because we're going to be looking at the eyes quite a lot. People, oh god, just let me pick brown. <laughs> what the shit? Right, okay. I'm assuming brown's got a fair bit of red in it. Hmm, or is it blue and red? No, that's purple. Ah, I think this is more like it. It's almost like a yellow I've ended up with, isn't it? <laughs> How does brown work, people? Come on, somebody tell me what the colour of brown is. Okay, we'll go with that. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Apart from I didn't do it properly, what the hell? Got to be a quicker way, isn't there? Okay, let's get rid of the blue. I'll do. Good grief. Hair. <laughs> What's going on? Go with the standard bob, are we? Hmm. 
Oh god, the same bloody thing, isn't it? That's not so bad, actually. It looks like we're getting... Yeah, that'll do. 52. Right, I think that's fine. And... Oh, there's makeup in there. Do you have some lipstick, people? Why not? That's dark red, dark blue. Can't even see what that's doing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, it's working, it's working. I was going for a kind of black, gothic type colour, but I don't think I'm getting it, people. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now, that looks a bit more... Heavy red than. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's a bit. Uh, oh, why is it everything else that I've backed out of it went back to normal, but this didn't? Oh, that'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Right, we'll go with that. Uh, how do we okay everything? Sure, why not? In case we lose it. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do me. How do we start the game, people? Finish. Uh, I've not got a name. Capital letters, how do we do those? L2. Go to default for me. Uh, we're not picking anything to do with... Yeah, it's just appearance and name in here, isn't it? Oh, origin. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> Nearly missed that, didn't I? Bloody hellfire. I'm not overly sure that I've ever been in this section, have I? I don't remember this bit, picking the... What you can start out with stats-wise. Ordinary happy upbringing, all attributes average. All right, I probably just stuck with the standard then. Lone survivor of a lost hamlet, high life essence and bigger. Yeah, we just go with the standard. Enough faffing around. Um, I mean, there's a whole for people that might not have played the game before. There's a whole bunch. You see the stats changing on the right hand side. You just need to go with what balance. I mean, it's a little bit different to Dark Souls in that regard because. You know, I don't. I don't think that. It, now you suppose you've got your magics right enough, which you get into later. But we'll, we'll go with we'll go with the 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 one that's more level overall. I mean, the speed of which that all loaded up in the first place was insane. So how are we looking for getting into the actual gameplay? Yeah, super quick, isn't it? Seconds, if, if anything. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Uh, pardon? Don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. You're already a bad dream, mate.
Tady. Tady. Phew, that was close. Oh. Uh, no now. That's horrible. <laughs> ah, you found yourself a hunter. Now, bearing in mind that this game is most likely locked at 30, it's all about smoothness at, at that 30, really. And sticking to it. Handwritten scroll, seek pale blood and transcend the hunt. You can come in here later. Oh, or now. <laughs> there is another way into here, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure this one will say a lot from the other side, won't it? Yeah. See, I was right. I knew it all along. R1, attack. R3, lock on. Locking all over the world. Hello, we get... You just keep eating, nothing to see here. Ow. <laughs> Come on, you big badger. I've not even got a bloody weapon. <laughs> I've never defeated this thing with my fists. Is it possible? Easy. Get me stamina up. Oh, hello. <laughs> I wasn't far off getting him. I think I died of boredom more than anything else. We're <laughs> taking that long to take health off him. Never mind. We're meant to die, people. Kind of. Bastard of Loran. Yep, still pretty swift. Loading screens used to be epic in this. Now it's a matter of seconds. Right, well, Yarnum is where the, the first place we're going to go. Actually, yeah. That's a little shop place there. We don't have any echoes, so... It's 
not open yet. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters of other worlds. That's very kind, thank you. Accept gift. The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one firearms. Oh, uh, choose one, sorry. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Yeah, so I always go for the hunter pistol, as it happens. Oh, here we go. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employ employed in beast hunting. Well, it's going to be my usual. The Thaw Cleaver. I think at some point I ended up with a, another weapon, but I did try it the very first time I ever played this game. I used the Thready Cane. It's really quick, but you know, not as not as high damage. And this has got two modes as well. And now what we need to do is figure out how to put them on. <laughs> they Right hand. Alright, the first two are for right handed weapons then, obviously. Hunter's mark. Notebook. Right. Okay. I'm trying to remember how to open it. <laughs> Come on now, it can't be that hard, Steve. Secondary mode. Ah, oh, there we go. L1. Wasted a bullet to do it, but never mind. Right, we'll have a quick run round here. I generally use this entire this weapon always in that mode pretty much. <laughs> Run. Use an item with square. Switch weapons with D pad. <clears throat> Emergency quick silver bullet replenishment. Oh really? Use with caution. Performing this action drains HP. All right. Well, I never. <laughs> the notes held by the messengers contain the written wit and wisdom of hunters from other worlds. Right, let's crack on. I think we've got everything we need from here for now. <laughs> yeah, strong attack and hold it for... Ch oh, right, charge attack. <laughs> Hitting an enemy from behind, charge attack. Choose your firearm. Uh, shooting your firearm will interrupt the stagger an enemy when properly timed. R1 when next to a staggered enemy will visceral attack. Taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time in which attacking the enemy in return will restore a certain amount of HP. Right, let's crack on. And we can wake the doll up once we get our first, what's it called? Sight or whatever it's called. Awaken at a selected location in Yarnum. About eight seconds, thereabouts.
<laughs> yeah, same place, isn't it? Now I can kill you. Bloodstone shard. Blood vial, two of them, thank you. Hey. Could do with putting them on. Hmm. I thought I could change the... Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Undo that, please. I'm highly confused, people. Why am I not putting my healing where it needs to be? Or is that not a quick item? It's a separate thing. Ah, triangle restores HP. Well, that'd be why then, Stephen, wouldn't Somebody big walking around. Can't see him though. Pretty sure it's this way we're going out. That should say locked from the other side. Closed by a device. Pretty sure I know where that guy is actually. Central Yarnum. Well, it's certainly... I mean, you can tell it's 30, but... It's not struggling in any way, it's dead, dead smooth. More blood vials, thank you. How many times am I going to use L1 to try and block after playing Dark Souls? Away, away. This town is cursed.
Molotovs, is it? Blame me. Yeah, you kick that ladder down when you get to a different point. Hey! Am I having a dumb moment here, people? I could have sworn you go straight. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, it's the ladder here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the gate you open later. It's the ladder that comes down now. Yeah, I'm up at... Of course it has, because a lantern up here, isn't there? Uh... This, la this lamp now transport you back to Hunter's Dream. Upon death, you will reawaken at this lamp. Awaken at this lamp. This gate is not open from here. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help. If there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. <laughs> Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. So you're not going to help me then? Do you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. The hunt is on. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum. Okay. The cathedral. Just keep talking till it gets repetitive is basically the uh, trick there. That's enough out of you. Can drop straight down there actually. Very kind with the blood bars this far. And I don't want all of them at once, do I? <laughs> 
Look, fork off you. I feel like this guy's... Oh, hello. There's somebody sneaks out from the side as well here. Pretty sure that's where the big guy is down there. Yeah, there he is. A WD-40 on there, people. What the shit? <laughs> Thought that big guy jumped out of me there. I sworn there was a guy in there anyway. Are you that outsider? Maybe. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. Trot along, will ya? My name's not Will ya? Well, there's two of them, no, three of them left, it looks a bit. No, there's even more than that. I oh, no, there is three. Spotted me. Come on, then. Let's dance, you and I. Come on. Just try not to go in the fire, Steve. Oh, there is more of them down there. Look, there's another one. Well, nobody asked you, did they? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Didn't lock on. Didn't go well, did it? The upside of having it shorter is it is faster. Oh, Mr. Forky. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Try, will you now? It was deliberate. It was deliberate. Come on, let's dance. You're coming up the stairs. Come on. Let's dance. You burn, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Clearing out Yarnum one on one. Now. What? No need to be all cockney with me. Foul beast. Yeah, now there's a sneaky little hobbit around here, isn't there? Yeah. Bloodstone Shard, thank you.
Oh, right. There's still quite a few of them around the fire. Oh, you fucker! I knew there was another one! Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, you sneaky little... You made me jump out of my skin, the little bastard. you think I'd know he was there by now. <laughs> Gave me a proper fright. Ooh, threw me turtle beaches. What the shit? Oh, hello. Oh, fucking hell. A few of them caught up with me there, didn't they? Oh, hello. Fucking hell, I thought you were dead. Oh, you little bastard. Another big fella around there as well. The uh, guy with the gun over there, I need to remember him as well. There's a lot of these guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't remember there being quite this many of them round about the bonfire. I think that guy with the gun can get me from over here. Got one of them's attention. Oh, you little fucker. I knew you would be his... I normally sneak up behind him. I've done this wrong. I normally sneak up behind that guy. So he doesn't see me. Take him, oh yeah, but if I take him out, I'm stuck, aren't I? Because I can't come back up this way. There's far too many of them around there for me to take on at once. Come on. Bloody fork guy as well. Oh, I ran out of fucking stamina. Son of a bitch. Run, run, run. <laughs> it all went a little bit fucking crazy there, people. Run away, run away. Bastard, I didn't quite get him, did I, either? Oh, you fucker. I hate these fuckers with the forks, I really do. I never quite figure out the bloody... Bastard! Where the fuck did they come from? Well, behind me is the answer, but you know what I mean? Holy shit. Feel them catching me out tonight.
Don't want to waste me bullets though, do I? Mind you, I've got a bit too many, I think. Oh, there's a feck it. I knew there were, yeah, dogs. Forgot about them. Anything on four legs gonna kill my health down. Easy. You can put money on it. How is there still those two guys up there? Right, the dog needs to go first, because he's a right nightmare. Oh, f Where's he coming up? Oh, he's coming up here. Come on, then. Let's dance. Alright. Oh, the werewolves are the worst. Hate them. Oh, you fucker! Ah, no! Oh, you fucking bastards! I don't believe they just did that to me. Oh. I need to get them picked back up again. Fucking hellfire. That's the rake of it, though, innit? You've got to get all the way back there, and I've got to take out all of those feckers again. Well, I don't have to, but... There's a lot of enemies in that section. Bastard! I don't believe I got caught out by the fucking gunman. Right in the middle of taking me potion. Yeah, got my health straight back because I attacked him. And this, of course, is where it gets tricky because you start rushing it because you get pissed off. Done alright for Molotovs as well. I used to use them quite early on, the old Molotovs, and then I was like, oh. Actually, that's a good point. We could have dropped down the other side. I don't remember being this many of them in this section. It's outrageous. Has he seen me, that guy? No, he's not. Alright, let's not get caught out by this badger here this time. Cursed beast! Oh, fucking hell, where the fuck did he come from? Bastard. Fucking hell, they're sneaky little hobbits tonight. <laughs> Catching me off guard everywhere. Oh, hello. Oh, fucking hell, he's still alive. Ah! Why is he so quick with his fucking flame jobber? Oh, well, got rid of a few of them. Oh, 
Why can't I see my things for picking up? Somebody's got him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's the guy with the gun, look. It's the guy with the gun that's got my bloody... What do you call him? I'm gonna call him Souls, but it's not Souls. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a real pain in the ass. And where's that dog? Oh, shut up, big guy. You're doing me brain in. You can see by his glowing purple eyes, he's got my, my points, people. Right, I'm just gonna have to go for it. Ah, fuck off you. Fucking hate them. <laughs> you Fucking fall, fuck, there's one behind me. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. I'm on edge, people. I forgot how fast this game is in comparison to Dark Souls. <laughs> it's like you gotta float like a butterfly and sting like a bambi is what you gotta do in this game. Fucking hell, where did the fuck did you come from, you badger? Oh, hello. Take a bit of that action, though. Need to find a way to get into the big guy up there. Calmly does it, Steve. Calmly does it. Can't quite see where all the others are. Fuck, there's still a guy to the left. Ooh, got me blood echoes back, thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Holy shit. Still a few of them, isn't there? Fucking hell. Well, so far, so extremely smooth. I haven't seen any stickiness, I haven't seen any, you know, for what it is at 30 frames. Hopefully there might be a bit of a patch. Ooh, did you get that up there? Uh, to bring it up to 60, maybe? Never know. Fuck you know. He'll come back at the same damn time. I know where we need to go. We need to go up there. I'm just being very careful now. I've got some level up points. To be honest, it'd probably be wiser to go back. I oh, know, because I've got to do them all again, haven't I? Fuck you know. Would be a bloody 
fort guy that's coming after me. This town's finished. Not overly sure, like, if I just let them wander off, if I can just head to the next section. I'm trying to remember where the next lantern is, though. I think you've got to defeat something to get a lantern, haven't you? <laughs> I don't think I'm just going to get given one. Pretty sure there's werewolves around the other side as well. genuinely don't remember this many in this section. I remember them walking up and down and all that malarkey, but feckin' hellfire, there's got to be about 40 of the fuckers in it. Come on then. You're better off dead. There's a few pickups over there as well, which I wouldn't mind getting. Not seeing them coming back yet. Oh, you fucker! Thought he was dead. You are cursed. Oh well, we made it around the other side finally. Make sure no one's coming at the back of me there. It's my, often oh, the birds as well in here, aren't they? Yeah, the big guy down here could easily just destroy me and one it. Easy. I can't remember where these sodding birds are. I don't reckon you're from round here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Oh, very nice. Right, well, the big guy's around there, I think, near the door. There he is. Well, this could end all types of badly, this. Thank God I remembered how to do that. Right, there's the birds. I can see them.
Spoilern. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of guys with rifles and dogs and then werewolves up there. <laughs> and I'm nowhere near a lantern as far as I can know. Uh, I feel like there's a shortcut somewhere near here where you can run down the back of somewhere. Could be thinking of an entirely different... Oh no, here we go. Yeah, I think it's here. This is something, I remember seeing it in a playthrough and I never noticed it in my entire life. However, you drop down to where the dogs come out, the cages and stuff. Not sure which way is worse. Gonna lose my bearings completely if I do that. I think the other way takes you up the highway. Yeah, you end up on the bridge bit where the boss is with the werewolves and all sorts. And then I think you get a, a lantern once you defeat the boss. So. Seemed reasonable. Well, I've got the pickups anyway. So I think. Probably that's going to do it for showing it off in this first part. i have been kicking about an hour anyway, so I might just walk back to my lantern and use that to level up for a next part, and maybe record the next part once I'm at that bit again, rather than have to show you all that bit again. Nobody wants to see that over and over again, people. That's if I can make it back with all of my blood vials. seeing them. Someone followed me there. Can they follow you all the way back? There we go. Well, for anyone that wants to see the leveling up pro... Oh, no, because I don't have any insight yet. I can't level up, can I? The whole thing's pointless, because you need insight. In order to wake up the doll, in order to level up. I remember this now. It was a royal pain in the ass, because you couldn't level up until you got insight. And the first insight that I ever picked up was beating the boss. Which takes fecking forever. <laughs> so... There is no point in going back. I uh, suppose you could spend the points on something. I can't remember if you need insight to use the shops. I don't think you do. So, oh, what the hell. I'll either, I'll either just quit there, which should bring me back as things are, I think. Or I'll start a record. Well, whichever way I do it, I'll start a record from where we were rather than where we are now. If I do a part two. But hopefully that's given people an idea of how Bloodborne looks on the PlayStation 5. It plays really, really nice. Uh, but obviously we'd love a, a 60 frames per second mode on that if we can get one. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Bloodborne on the PlayStation 5. And I'll see you in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.